uninspiring. No team showing a decisive edge as far as execution in the final third. Jamaica had the better of it in terms of time of possession. They really couldn't take advantage to Jamaica. Back inside it comes now in Jamaica. Flow starting to resemble like the type of play it resembled at the end of the first half. Jermaine Hardy. Canada trying to get a little bit more aggressive than we saw in the first half. No doubt that's what Altamane Ibrir tried to instill in his players. Here they trying to adhere to it. Chance right here for Belot. And a great block this time from McCallum. Not out of danger, off the woodwork in Canada. In the second half, behind strikes from Belot. And another good effort this time from the substitute, Milad Ramati, who came in. Take a look at this one, though. Goalkeeping from McCallum. Gets back off of his line, comes back, able to cut the angle off, and Ramati unable to squeeze it in between the keeper and near post, just off the woodwork. Canada again. Here they come. Matondo getting free inside the area. Matondo kept in. Straight it comes to O'Connor. Gerard inside now. The run from Ramati inside and a chance right here for Gitulio, who's offside. Didn't appear to be the case at all. Tap in all honesty. Here's his first touch. Trying to get around his counterpart on the substitution is Ramati. Ramati comes away with it. Ratami. Ramati. Check that. Inside the area. Ramati posing all kinds of problems. Feeding Belot into the back of the net. And in minute 55. Canada finally strikes the third of the tournament from Win Belot. And the not striker makes it 1-0 Canada. Nice little ball. You've got to give credit to Milad Ramati. What a decisive difference he's made in the, fir in the first parts of half number two. And finding, and not bad defending, but a case of a superior finish. And look at Belot. All he needs is one touch, and he makes him. Connor, Ramati, trying to get his way around Copeland Lewis. Boy, it is really taking a turn for the worst for Jamaica right now. A chance for them to salvage some pride. Been their best player today. An interesting substitution by Coach Patrick Walters. You wonder if Walters has pretty much thrown in the towel and just trying to get all of his players some. In this match, we are closing out the qualifying tournament and the under-17 championships. These two teams really with no chance of making it on, but have put on. Which, of course, will be their first of the tournament. Far side, and it's, again, Ramati trying to get free and does Ramati's ball. After these messages.
Again from the right side, Canada doing very well. Set up beautifully by Ratti for win below. Canada won the first 45 minutes of match between these two. For the shot, and it's cleared away by the Canadians. Matt to take the left-footed corner. Gets underneath this one. Johnson goes up. A good shove in the back by Shepard. First action in the match. Battling there is Milad Ramati. Still on the ball to Ramati. Still in play. Ramati covered a lot of ground himself. Finally gives way to a true with a draw. Jamaica takes on Canada in a qualifying again for under 17 World Cup. Right now, two matches apiece for all four teams, the bottom of the 14 group. Group B. The shot comes in. Looking just wide. That would have made the finish very interesting. Ramati. We're going to have subs still playing. Group B, which will be in San Pedro Sula in Honduras, features the host Hondurans. Haiti 